Hi everyone, Jopke here and today I'm going to try and make a nice page for the mission inspiration of March 2017 um, The prompts are set by uh, guest mission controller Linda Simpson this time and the suggested color scheme is a green, a yellow and a brown and the words you could use for your theme or your title or a quote are spring, regeneration, germination, jump and madness. So um, today I'm working in this uh, magazine. I got this from my friend Annette. Uh, it has quite thick pages and uh, also glued the, the middle pages uh, I glued two together so they're really uh, quite thick and I think they will be perfect uh, to work uh, on. Uh, I'm not sure if I will do a single page or a sp spread. Um, I will think about that. But uh, let's start and uh, see what happens. The first thing I do is adding gesso to my page and um, I decided on working just on one page, the left side page. I'm putting uh, two layers of gesso on it uh, to cover the background of the magazine. And the first step I need to do is apply a patterned paper or tissue. And I'm using a tissue. Uh, and this one came in a shoe box. Uh, and it had some lovely silver... Uh, little circles on it. So I thought that would be nice to start my page with and I'm gluing it down with a Mod Podge. And once that is dry, uh, step two is add a thin coat of a suggested color. And I choose the yellow to start with and first I am fiddling around with this bottle of acrylic spray paint that I made uh, the bottle uh, doesn't spray anymore, then I'm not sure what's wrong with it. Uh, so I used a tube to get some color on my uh, page, but it does, didn't work all that well. And then I remembered I have a few uh, of the Liquitex ink acrylic uh, inks. So, um, and I had one in the color yellow. So I used that, uh, watering it down with my water spray bottle uh, to uh, make the color a bit uh, drippy, dripping and run on my page. And then step three is use a stencil with the medium of your choice. And I chose uh, the golden uh, crackle paste and a circled stencil. And I'm adding kind of a uh, a vertical line of the the circles in the in the middle of the page really and hopefully it will uh, give a very fine crackle effect so here uh, I want to bring in some more color um, and I'm trying to decide which color green to use um, and I decided on the paint acrylic paint and um, just putting a few dots on my page, uh, mainly on the circles, the uh, crackle paste circles, adding some water to make it run and um, using my brush to make it uh, run a bit more. And that leaves a very nice and fine crackle with a green uh, in, the, in the color green. Um, then step four, add a focal image. And that, that is when my battle began because it took a few days to finish this page. Uh, uh, as usual, I had very, very much trouble with the focal image. I just don't know what to put there. So because I already had circles, I decided to uh, go on with circles and I got these tissue paper kind of circle shapes from Honey in uh, Happy Mail and there were a few in the color yellow and green so I decided on gluing a few of them down onto my page 
And also, I got this, uh, uh, is it a die cut? It's a die cut from bubbles, kind of bubbles, really. And um, they were black. And because the color brown is in the suggested color scheme, I decided on giving them a light uh, coat of the brown acrylic paint. The suggested color scheme is just what it says. It is a suggested color scheme. You don't have to use it if you don't uh, like these colors. You can uh, just pick your own and do whatever you want. The, the, the main thing is that you follow uh, the steps and the words and the colors are just suggestions that uh, you can use or uh, can be helpful with uh, deciding what to do. Uh, for me, it is always very helpful, so I'm happy there is a suggested color scheme and there are some words that you can use for uh, thinking about your theme or your quote or your title. Um, yeah, so the circles, the bubbles are painted in uh, brown and I glued them down with a Mod Podge. And then it is the next day because I didn't know what to do uh, uh, next for my focal image. So I decided to leave it for a while. And the next day I thought, well, there's too much color. I want to tone it a bit down. And I do that with a white acrylic paint, just painting over it and then using a baby wipe to take most of it uh, off. And uh, that will cause uh, the colors to tone down a bit. Um, because I didn't know what to do, I decided to go on with the circles and I had some more circles. Uh, the big yellow circles I thought could maybe represent the sun or maybe some flowers. I didn't know at that point, uh, but um, I thought they looked nice on the page and didn't know what else to do. So I, I went for the circles using the Faber-Castell artist pit pens to give them a bit more dimension, the little green circles and also the bigger yellow circles. So they uh, have a bit more depth and uh, well could look like a sun or maybe even uh, flowers. Uh, the suggested words for this mission are spring, regeneration, germination, jump and madness. So I thought it is a, maybe um, a good th thing to go on with the spring theme. Uh, the, the bubbles and the yellows and so once I toned down the colors with the white acrylic paint I thought the bubbles the brown uh, circles were a, a bit lost so I took out my neo colors and go over the circles with that and a water brush so they stand out a bit more and then I decided to leave it for for that time being for the focal image because I really got stuck and didn't know what to do. So I went on with step five, which says use at least two rubber clear stamps. And um, I did. I used a, a text stamp from Finna Bear and a butterfly, st uh, some butterfly stamps and um, my black ink, the Stazon black ink, to uh, stamp a bit on the background. Uh, the uh, impression wasn't all that clear, but that didn't uh, bother me all that much. It was just for adding a bit more interest to the background. And then step six, make marks with credit or ATM cards. And I have some credit cards kind of cards, but I just recently uh, cleared out my craft room and organized a bit and I, I'm, I, I've, I've lost them. I have no idea where I put those cards. So this is a tag from uh, clothing, I believe, which I use to make some marks. And I do that with the green acrylic paint. I'm just putting a, 
a few lines on there with the yellow circles and I use the brown acrylic paint to make some splatters. And again, I believe it is a, uh, the next day, uh, I decided those yellow circles should be flowers to stay in the spring theme. Um, I couldn't make anything else of it. And um, here I am drawing some branches and some leaves. Uh, just recently I was at Lidl and uh, it's a, a store uh, in Europe and uh, they had some very cheap watercolor pencils, also uh, watercolor fine liners and markers. So I uh, bought a few of those. Um, the pencil was a bit too light, a bit too soft, so I went in with a fine liner and a water brush to draw the branches. Uh, also, I am drawing some uh, leaves onto the branches, uh, which I later on um, recolored with the Fabric Castell Artist Pit Pen because uh, I thought that the color green wasn't. Uh, right, so I use uh, artist pit pen to recolor the leaves of the branches. So just recently I got happy mail from Honey, and she uh, in that happy mail there were some homemade flowers. Uh, I'm not sure how she made them. I think it was of tissue paper or kind of paper towel paper kind of stuff. Um, very lovely but uh, uh, flowers that could work perfectly on my page uh, except for um, they didn't fit uh, the color scheme all that well so I'm saving those flowers for another project and I decided to try and make uh, something similar myself so I used a paper towel and sprayed some paints on it in the right colors, then just inking a bit and um, uh, using a Faber-Castell pit for the edges to give them a bit more dimension and just layering uh, a few uh, uh, on top of each other. So uh, I had three stacks of the paper towel pieces um, for my flowers. So gluing them together with a Mod Podge, um, just layer uh, them on top of each other. I believe there were four pieces and gluing them down onto the, the big yellow circles. And that made my flowers really. Um, using a few of the blingy uh, gems for the center of the flowers. And at this point, I was very happy. I managed to create a sort of a focal image and uh, which I liked. And uh, yeah, I was quite happy with this. So then step seven, add a quote, title or phrase. And I used the quote, one bloom of love is all it takes. And I uh, had four pieces just inking the edges with an archival ink and gluing it down with eventually a Mod Podge. Started with a glue stick, but that didn't work all that well. So I'm gluing it down with the Mod Podge again. And the last step, step eight, add a frame or border. I'm using the archival ink to add a border around my page. And also in the middle, uh, I just fold the, the page and so I could reach the middle with the uh, archival ink. And then the only thing left to do was adding the date and my signature. So I think this mission is accomplished. Uh, it took me quite a while, but I managed and I'm quite happy with the results. So I will leave you a link to the Facebook group of Mike Deacon of the Mission Inspiration. So if you like to join in, please uh, come and visit us and um, 
play along with us and see for yourself how much fun this is. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching this video and see you again very soon. Bye bye.